I'm Anthony Goff, for those that don't know me. I'm the um, project owner of here at um, the Terrace, which is a really exciting development. And um, so let's roll the proceedings. I'm delighted to welcome you all to the Terrace Soil Turning Ceremony. And the Terrace Development is delighted to have the honour of Minister Brownlee being part of this important milestone. I also wish to acknowledge my key development team, with Jazz Max being the lead architect, supported by NH Architecture from Melbourne, and Stephen Hogg from Oricom, who has led the cutting edge structural design for this project. Anna Liddell and Grant Liddell are my two key staff members who have been part of my team for 11 and 7 years respectively. I used to employ 40 people, I now have only two um, since the Canterbury earthquakes. Um, Sean Pont from Logic Group is the development manager for the project. Sue McCormick from Mortlock McCormick Law has been handing our lead work, and Arrow International have been appointed as our construction partners in this development. This area of Oxford Terrace had become well known for its hospitality offering prior to the February 2011 earthquake. All buildings were destroyed by the earthquake on the 22nd of February, and as devastating as that was, it did provide me with an opportunity to create an even better, more vibrant hospitality precinct with the terrace development. Oxford Terrace was made up of an eclectic variety of buildings and the new hospitality precinct will also feature a variety of building styles and forms in order to retain some of the past history of this area. I have owned land along Oxford Terrace for more than 40 years and wish to give something back to Christchurch in the form of an iconic development that future generations can enjoy. And so we are creating a comprehensive development, not just a series of standalone buildings. All buildings will be both outward and inward looking, with all the office space within the development being no more than 11 metres from natural light. The development is based on low damage design that is essentially a steel frame building designed with two-way hinge joints at levels on all columns. This is cutting edge design that is so new that it has never been done anywhere in the world. We have had to use Canterbury University Engineering Department to peer review the actual design. This will be the at the forefront of low damage design for earthquake resilience. The terrace will be one of the safest places to be in in an earthquake. The spaces between the eight buildings that make up the terrace are as important as the spaces inside. We talk about having porosity, meaning that the site is designed as being people friendly and connecting laneways from the neighbouring site east of us down the centre of the block laneways from Cashaw and Hereford Street, and two pedestrian laneways from Oxford Terrace. So the whole site is porous. Central to the development, the terrace development will be the piazza that all buildings will face into, which is located in the middle of the development. The buildings are tiered in height so that the central Oxford Terrace buildings are only two and three storeys high, allowing the seven storey eastern building to have views into the piazza and over the lower height Oxford Terrace buildings to the Avon River and park beyond. Oxford Terrace will contain two levels of hospitality that flow through the laneways to two levels of hospitality along the east side of those Oxford Terrace buildings. Two grand staircases off the northern side of the piazza will link through a central first floor promenade down the spine of the Oxford Terrace buildings. Stage one, construction has begun and includes the two central Oxford Terrace buildings and Building I, as we call it, which faces onto Hereford Street. Building I has ground floor hospita hospitality and four levels of office space above. We are aiming for stage one to be open in late 2014. It's about 15 months away. And it will be 100% hospitality on the ground and most of the first floor areas along Oxford Terrace. The balance will be around 2,500 square metres of office space in stage one. Almost all the available office space in the first building A on Oxford Terrace has already been bespoken for. The ground floor external facades will be precast concrete panels interspersed with lots of doors to allow easy access 
to all areas. The upper floors will be faced with Crotian steel for the three levels of the Northern Oxford Terrace Building A and timber exterior to the Central Oxford Terrace Building B. Stage 2 construction will commence in the second quarter of 2014, about six months away, with completion anticipated for the first quarter of 2016. We expect a two-year build programme for Stage 2. Stage 2 will include the dominant Oxford Terrace Cashel Street corner building and the substantial seven-storey eastern building along Cashel Street, which will have effectively enclose the central piazza within the development. So stage two is all our Cashel Street frontage. Stage one includes almost 3,000 square metres of hospitality, 2,500 square metres of office space. Stage two will bring a further 400 square metres of hospitality offerings, 1,300 square metres of retail, and 10,000 square metres of more office space. Stages one and two have a combined built form of nearly 20,000 square metres. Stage three will include a 320 bay car park with retail on the ground floor, a hotel, offices, and we are currently looking to incorporate some residential apartments into this third stage. We are building to less than half our allowed plot ratio in order to optimise the site rather than maximise it. More than 35% of the built form will be car parking. This is a $140 million development that will help ensure, help restore confidence in our developing new central city. It will set new high standards for design and innovation. The images we are sharing with you today give you a taste of what is to come with the terrace development. Thank you very much, and I'll pass it on to Minister Jerry Brown. Anthony, that's uh, very thoroughly uh, deserved applause. Can I thank you for the opportunity to be here? Acknowledge uh, my parliamentary uh, associate minister, Amy Adams, uh, parliamentary secretary for recovery, uh, Nikki Wagner, uh, and the honourable Leanne Dalzell, who is here today. Uh, I was going to say former, but not quite. Just uh, uh, soon to be. Um, I best guess to be fair, I should acknowledge Paul Lonsdale, who's here, uh, and uh, Jamie. I'm not sure if you're here as a candidate, a councillor, or a family member. <laughs> Very good. Okay, all covered. Uh, look, I, I really just want to uh, express my deep admiration for the way in which Anthony has, uh, right from the very outset, been an incredibly positive uh, voice for recovery here in Christchurch. And to see uh, this project get to a stage where it's starting, uh, where there is a timeline for its completion, and then the excitement about the possibility of its completion, uh, I think is absolutely fantastic. And Anthony, uh, I think you've, uh, by your various uh, uh, sometimes interesting, colourful and flamboyant public announcements, been a, an enormously encouraging influence uh, on the recovery, and I'm sure that uh, uh, history is going to record that. You disappoint us a little bit today by your conservative dress style, <laughs> but um, I know you're about to put on a high-vis uh, jacket, and I'm sure you've worked out that it's a complementary colour to your... <laughs> You're blue. You certainly won't need safety boots. They would want to get within a mile of those things. <laughs> so uh, really, all I can do is um, uh, thank you, Anthony, for that uh, commitment, but also thank uh, the so many people I look at the faces in the room who are every day doing things to make things better in this city. And the interesting thing is that you will always get people who want things to be done more quickly, who want things to be done uh, in a different way, but the reality is uh, good things take time uh, and the efforts that are, are needed to sort through all of the, the maze of, uh, of problems that occur when you go into these sort of circumstances uh, also take some time. But we do still have high levels of goodwill. I can see that uh, in the number of people who I know are involved in all sorts of other activities uh, here in this gathering today. So really it's a celebration not only of the success that Anthony has achieved to date in pulling this project together, uh, but also uh, a, a celebration of the fact that for all of us it marks another milestone on the way to recovery. Anthony, congratulations. I think we're going to go get on some diggers and uh, hopefully not do any damage but contribute to the, uh, the ongoing construction. Thanks very much.